All right, all right. So, Cleveland. Yo, who here? I like what Cody Rhodes, but who here about? wants to still see him with the title? In, 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 in retrospect, like. Better yet, who do we want to talk to? So oh, you do? Okay. Sokoa. I'll be honest, I'm extremely patient because I love how his storyline turned out. I can't wait for him to lose the belt, but I don't mind him. I don't mind if it takes a year or two. I don't, I don't mind. I just want to see Cody possibly turn heel. There's something about him being a heel that would match the American nightmare name. Like, I don't know. There's something about it. Well, Solo shit looking fire, bro. What up, Moogie? How you doing? Cody versus Randy would be great. But I'm letting y'all know, I think if the time ever comes that Cody turns heel, that American Nightmare name mixed with that would be fucking crazy. Now, Solo's theme song is probably the best out of the whole bloodline, out of the, uh, the three brothers. Crowning himself the new tribal chief, but what remains inarguable has been the dominance. He got that men's big and tall Fashion Nova trench coat. That shit big as a bitch. I like the way Solo Sokoa wears jackets. That man has Oh, Jacobs is too. No, I meant like the three brothers though. After the main event of I don't mean the whole bloodline. I meant um him, Jimmy, and Jay. Because that's not how I feel about they shit. Yeah, they shit is ass. On the shoulder of Cody Rhodes right now. A menacing stoic glare on the face of the challenger tomorrow. I, but I do like the way uh, Solo stepped up to the plate all these months now. It had been like kind of running his whole bloodline theme too. Yeah, Jay. No, I like Jay as a wrestler, but his moveset suck. I want y'all to notice something. They should have never lost. Trey fucked me up, man. I blame Trey. Every ounce of Trey, I blame. Now, every time I watch a SmackDown show, I see this motherfucker here. Trey done pointed out that this gentleman with the green is at every fucking SmackDown, and I see it now, bro. He's there every time there's a SmackDown, the guy in green. There's a compilation. Every SmackDown, he got to have something. He got money. He got something, bro. He got a wristband, too. And a watch. Bro, green shirt guy, bro. He there, man. I fuck with it, gang. <clears throat> hey, that's respect, bro. I respect green shirt. He always there, gang. Cleveland, Ohio. There's no way he's not laughing. <clears throat> He's talking to Cody. Acknowledge me. Yo, 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 yo. Why was he about? To, <laughs> why was he about? <laughs> yo, he was about to laugh, bro. He was about to fucking laugh. Me. Yo, he was about to fucking laugh, yo. Why they muted the whole? Yo. <laughs> he can't take him serious, bro. He was about to laugh, gang. They had to change the camera on him. <laughs> Yo, bro, you can't take it serious, bro. Ah, oh, this shit's amazing. The way we were all day for the 95 stream streak. God damn. Watching watch his crazy ass glow up. I see oh, I'm it. sick of you, bro. <laughs> Thank you, bro. Chip on your shoulder. <clears throat> You're a, a little brother, right? I'm a little brother, too. It's it's not easy what you've been trying to do, becoming the tribal chief and the links you've gone to get what you're after. From a distance, I almost admire it. But once the ballyhoo is through, once all the cinema that the bloodline is so famous for is over, there's an old expression in the wrestling business, tomorrow night at SummerSlam, the bell's gonna ring. What the fuck did he just say? And when it rings. Oh, today for the 95 stream streak. God damn, y'all almost up there. <clears throat> that you 
have nothing Bitch. to lose, and I have everything on the line. Are you done? Ooh. <laughs> I like that. Cody, do me yapping. You, because you are wasting my time, and I am running out of patience right now. <clears throat> Just like lie. your title reign tomorrow night at SummerSlam. No, I'm not done. See, you're a self-appointed tribal chief. I stand here the actual undisputed WWE champion. I stand here. I ain't gonna lie. Sometimes Cody be saying the same Atop shit. Top WWE. I sit on a throne, a throne I once broke, and I Yo, sit church, there they follow. deep emotional <clears throat> debt to those who have helped me achieve my goals. Men who paid the price with their bodies. Men like Randy Orton. Here we go. Men like Kevin Owens. He's going to probably say Ra Ra Roman Reigns at the end. And if I lose at SummerSlam, mm. if I lose to you, <clears throat> I can't repay up, that debt. I don't intend to lose. I intend to pay those men back, pay them back with your blood. I intend what I did to your cousin. Roman Reigns at WrestleMania <clears throat> when I defeated him in a Bloodline Rules match. Chad, yeah, Solo Jewelry ain't talking. Bloodline Rules, huh? Bloodline Rules match. You keep bringing that match up. You know what? When you beat Roman Reigns at WrestleMania, he was a tribal chief that was weak. Oh, yikes. Yeah, yeah, he's coming tomorrow. He's returning tomorrow. <clears throat> One broke AEW reference. He broke his throne AEW. Oh, that's a funny reference. You oh, shit. Me, Cody? Yeah, he's returning tonight, y'all. weak. As a matter of fact, we went I'm 40, buddy. I'm dangerous. We went 0 40. Yeah, tonight, I mean, I, I mean, tonight. SummerSlam, tonight. Tonight. I'm going to show you how dangerous I am. So you talk a big game, huh, champ? I said he talks a big game, huh, champ? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Let's put your money where your mouth is, all right? Let's make uh -oh, wait. tomorrow night. Wait. Oh, shit. That's the Samoan <clears throat> World <clears throat> Rules match. He's coming, to, uh, he's coming tonight. He's returning tonight. Once he said bloodline rules, you're going to have... It's almost like New Avengers, Old Avengers. The originals is going to come in and help Cody. Damn, this. Damn. This might start. Damn. Damn. Yo, bud, why are you, why are you being stubborn? The setup is right there in front of your face. Yo, it's right in front of your face, bro. It's literally there in front of your face. Roman Reigns is going to return with, 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 and Jay probably going to end up helping and Jimmy. Something's going to happen to, well, if, if Jay even enters, but all I know is something's going to happen to where it's going to make sense. And I think if Jay were to help, it got to make sense with something. Maybe Jay sees that they're helping Cody and that because he fucks with Cody, or maybe Jay's going to run out and help Cody. Maybe Randy Orton's going to come out. I don't know what the fuck going to happen. If Randy Orton's injured, I don't know what the fuck is going on. But if somebody comes out help Cody, it's going to lead to the next pieces. I ain't going to lie. Yeah, Zilla, Zilla not coming, not coming here, bro. If Brock Lesnar was to show up, not only will I fucking jump out my chair for that reaction, but it, I mean, I'm going to jump out my chair for Roman Reigns too. But Donnie's going to hate me is what I'm going to say. Like the joke is, you see Donnie Rowe get out. All right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna jump out my motherfucking seat. Uh, you said how you say uh good jerk. You said uh thank you for the first time. Check that. I can't pronounce it. Haikulo, Haikulio, Haikulio. Right? Is that how you pronounce it? He might he might pull up in, on SummerSlam. That's a that's a crazy debut. I'm not gonna lie. That's a crazy debut. I ain't gonna lie. Um, Zilla the champion. The thing is, <clears throat> I don't think he's going to appear to fight. He's gonna be if he's there like watching. Yeah, Brock, I don't think Brock is returning. If he were to return, I mean, for me, that's just, 
One of them, like, I'll be hype as shit, but I don't, it, it, he doesn't make sense in this storyline for me if I'm not bugging. Like, that's what I'm saying. I, maybe I'm bugging. Rick looked like the new Twitch mobile update. Yeah, that, that Twitch mobile update is trash. I'm just being honest. I would love for Brock to return oh, too. Jacob Fatu the Honestly. Line, and here comes Tama Tom. They attack they attack Paul for a reason. And CM Punk doesn't seem to be addressing any issues along uh, among uh, about that. So I don't think Brock is going to address any issues with that. It's going to be Roman. It's going to be Roman. They got they're following the storyline right there. It ain't going to be CM Punk, Brock and Roman. I I'm I'm a, I'm a actually agree with Donnie on that one. It's mostly Roman because of the history with the 4 years that they built together. So I think that's going to be it. Um, yo, yo, bud. There's no way Roman is going to be on solo side. Yeah, it's not Brock. <clears throat> it's not Brock or Punk. I just want people to know that. Imagine Brock. If Brock pops up against Gunther, it, all jokes aside, if Brock was to pop up against Gunther, I'll be honest, it's going to be a, this, this event might be just as huge. Not saying on the same level as WrestleMania. No, but this is going to be a super huge viewed pay-per-view. This is going to be nuts. It's going to be nuts for me. I ain't mad. Some of y'all don't want to see certain people return. Also, I'm stretching. This is a stretch. I don't think that they're going to pull up here um, at SummerSlam, but I also in other news, love the fact that WWE is speaking with Matt Hardy, Jeff Hardy because of the TNA shit. I don't know. Maybe I'm I'm dumb for being a fan of that too. Yo, I bud, I bud, I bud, I bud. Ah, right, you got it, bro. Two men who will compete for the tag team Exclamation mark! Uh, Discord. Exclamation mark! Discord. Get your 2K My Career Fantasies out of here. Okay, I'm gonna give you that. Yo, Tonga, why the fuck you look like a pirate? You look like a Dominican pirate. Lurking threat. Looking very quick. Bloodline rules match tomorrow night. That's what you want. I've looked in your eyes. I know what you're all about. Allow me a moment to talk to your friends. Thomas Lane was definitely Tongalo, top three. I see you there. You got Royal Rumble, Elimination Chamber. Just so you know, I ain't scared of you. Tomatonga. We got a lot of history, more than most people know about. I ain't afraid of you. And Jacob Fatu. I can't deny he probably the best one out of the four as dumb as it is for me to say I ain't scared of you either you dumb son of a bitch <laughs> Look at Savad look at Savad just mad at that that's Savad he look like Savad you look like me and Savad I don't know lie. That shit crazy Yo, yo, I ain't gonna lie. Tomorrow what up, Oilo? Night, Cleveland, SummerSlam. You want a Bloodline Rules match? It's probably not the smartest decision I've ever made, but it's the only decision I can make. I accept. It's gonna be so hard for Cody to ever, like, he's probably one of the best faces that we've seen as champion in a while. Like, again, I hate the kiss ass to the fans type of face. The one like, you know, like anytime y'all see a face and he like them kiss ass he face like that's why I like heels. But I ain't gonna lie, Cody, <clears throat> Cody, the way he's being pushed, he makes being a face like lit as fuck. I ain't gonna lie. He makes being a face like lit as shit. He cooked on this. He cooked. I ain't gonna lie. He makes being a face like lit as fuck. I ain't gonna lie. Oh, shit. <laughs> Look at that. Well, since you accept the challenge, you know what I can do to you right now before SummerSlam? If I snap my fingers, these three men in here will tear your ass apart. But I'm not going to do that. Because tonight, the tag team titles come back to the bloodline. Mm. <clears throat> now he cooked on his promo, bro. And then tomorrow night, Solo did good too. That title comes back to the bloodline too. I get it. I get it. Basically, every time one of you are born, there's one thing in common. You guys hate Cody Rhodes. I understand, but I don't have to fight 
your family. No, all I have to do is defeat the tribal chief. And since the tribal chief's not here. Oh, shit. <clears throat> oh, what a shot. I'll settle for the wannabe. Oh, I ain't gonna lie. Now nah, they cook. Oh, shit. Incendiary words. I'm gonna be honest. American nightmare, Cody Rhodes. Cody cooked his ass. What? Solo did a great fucking job. Nah, Solo did a great fucking job, but Cody cooked this shit. God damn. SummerSlam? Cody Rhodes just faced up to imminent mortal danger and did Both did great, man. Flinch. Damn, it sucks. Cause what if what if like I wonder like I don't this is not gonna be the end of this bloodline. But damn, Solo's Solo's character, man, I ain't gonna lie, he cooked right here. I actually liked it. A bloodline in full force standing in the, the ring, awaiting the arrival of the champ. What? Jacob for two. I don't believe we've been formally introduced. I'm one half of the WWE Tag Team Champions, the Blackheart, Tommaso Ciampa. And I'm Johnny Wrestling. Was Yo, know, that was cringy as a bitch. <laughs> Yeah, that was the cringiest shit I've ever seen in my fucking life. I'm embarrassed to be a wrestling fan. Hell no, bro. Oh, shit. <laughs> Yo, that was the most cringiest shit. Let me tell y'all, that, that did not eat. There was no cooking there. Oh, shit. He thought he killed that shit. He, first off, he kissed the shorty that... People normally hate because she has some crazy. Well, she does the she does like in like whatever promo she was doing during her matches were fired to me. Um, kissed his child and then look at the screen like he was Batman. That shit was trash. That shit was trash. And I'm Johnny wrestling. That shit was trash. I saw in this building. That was the night I decided I needed to become a professional wrestler. 28 years later, I am back home in this building in the main event as one half of the WWE Tag Team Champions. The new bloodline likes to talk about family. Yo, they said they said DX, right? Why he look like skinny Ryback? He look like if Ryback started dieting. This is my city. These are my people. Tonight, Bloodline, you're gonna be surrounded by ten thousand. He banned. By, he banned from Cleveland, by the way. Cleveland, Ohio. Let's freaking go! I ain't gonna lie. That shit did not cook. I ain't gonna lie. Ooh, duty booty ass. The theme song is fire, though. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind, never mind. It's the intro, the, the very intro of the song sounded fire, but once the song started playing, I'm good. It's DIY, uh, DIY but um, our truth calls them DX. And the steam is ass. The steam is mad ass. Let's freaking go instead of freaking go. <laughs> CJ, I don't know, bro. That motherfucker look like anorexic Ryback. This shit gonna be crazy, bro. SummerSlam. I can't wait. Oh man, SummerSlam today, baby. This motherfucker Roman is back. I wonder, he probably didn't change his attire either. I cannot wait to head to Tulsa for all of the SummerSlam fallout. But right now, it is time for the WWE Tag Team Yo, Why my man look like a pirate? What happened to him? I didn't catch. Yo, Mike. All right, Mike. I'm texting you today. We're going to have a long talk. I'd be blessed if he changed his damn attire. Oh, Roman's confirmed to come back on SummerSlam. Absolutely. You didn't see all the, like, the Easter eggs and all the shit. He is absolutely coming back today. 
The following contest scheduled for one fall is for the WWE Tag Team Championship. Man, he coming back today. We gonna play NCAA in Discord? No, I will not be playing you in video games, man. Representing the bloodline, the team of Tomatonga. Nah, trust me, he's coming back tonight. Yo, they gotta chill with this with the fawn. I thought that shit said something else. Zilla is not. You said Zilla's popping up to SummerSlam? He ain't ready for this yet. What? He ain't pulling up to Summer. Is he pulling up to SummerSlam? Like he he part of the main roster now? Roman has to be coming back. If he does it, there will be a fuck. Uh, he literally has some. Yeah, but I'm saying, is he fighting at SummerSlam? I thought he was there as like a fan, like for his family. Yeah, Zilla not fighting. We ain't gonna see Zilla for like another couple years. Yeah, Zilla ain't man. He he's there like yeah, bloodline. Who he ain't doing none of that. Yeah, he's gonna be in the crowd, bro. Do y'all think Roman Reigns is pulling up tonight? Yes or no? Y'all think he's pulling up or not? Like Roman Reigns is appearing or no? I think he is. It's SummerSlam. I bet, bud. You want to do a five dollar wager? Five dollar bet? I'll do a friendly five dollar bet. Five dollars is nothing. Like it is something, but all right, cool. F uh, friendly five dollar bet. I'm down. I'm down. Or it could be a dollar, it don't matter. Like friendly, friendly dollar, friendly five dollar bet, it don't matter. Um, he's the world champion in Booker T's wrestling school. Yeah, like he got so much more going on. He he's still gonna be building, bro. Like Zilla still gotta build a lot more, bro. He still got a lot more in the gas tank. I'll give you two subs. All right, fair enough. And then I I, I, I equal that and I'll send it to you through Cash App. I got you. They wouldn't have solo keep mentioning um him in promos. Yeah, like uh I'll give ten wait, you'll give ten subs if he doesn't return, because I think he is. I think Roman Reigns is pulling up, Daryl. What's good? I think he's pulling up. Um, they've been mentioning Roman. They did it again last night. Yeah, he's coming back, bro. He's coming back. <laughs> he's coming back. The the amount of time gap that it has taken is like the perfect time. SummerSlam and every pay per view moving forward is going to be insane. It's the perfect time. Now, does that mean he's going to be ex like completely active after today? No, he might. You know, return here and there, but this is gonna be a wow factor. Uh it's gonna be a wow factor return. It's gonna be huge. It might be just as huge, or if not even bigger than when CM Punk made that return and people was tweaking. It might, it might just it's gonna blow, it's gonna blow the roof off, bro. I swear to God. We'll just do this and we'll start it from here. So later on tonight, I guess, at the end or whatever, they had their match. Oh, yeah, yeah, facts, fan. Yo, fan, you gonna pull up to the Discord or you got you got uh you doing your own thing? I can't wait, bro. I cannot fucking wait. This was the main event. All right. Yo, I just want to make note. I know a lot of people, including myself, like we know, like live. For me, she ain't the best like wrestler and shit like that. The only reason why I'm really interested in that fight too is because sometimes the way you promo. Can bring like an in like interesting like kind of like perspective. Like I actually like the way she's she was doing like like her little promo with like Dominic Mysterio, and now it got me wondering what's gonna happen with that fight. So I'm actually interested to see that fight go on. Like that's you see shit like that also makes sense for me. Now she's been killing it. Like she's been going crazy, bro, with the way she's been promo. And I, a lot of y'all know y'all was horny yesterday because y'all probably saw what she was wearing. But a low key, that she she's she's been cooking, bro. I predict Finn Balor will help live. Uh, is you, you think he's gonna help live? Oh, causing destruction to the. Oh, he gets you engaged to figure. Yeah, yeah, nah, shit is fire, bro. Shit is fire. Man, that's actually crazy. Mandy Rose, you gotta, you gotta like link me, bro. I forgot. I, I names fucked me up. That's gonna be insane. We're gonna see something interesting tonight, y'all. That's what it's all about tonight. The WWE Tag Team Championship. The reigning champs 
Champa and Gargano. Look at LA Knight Logan promo. We're going to do that after. I got you. bigger underdogs than they are right now. Tonight's main event is sponsored by eBay Motors. How big is the SummerSlam Arena, arena for tonight? WWE tag team titles on the line. I do hope Logan Paul loses that shit, man, but Donnie made a good point yesterday, too. Unrelenting physicality from the off, from this new look bloodline that are perhaps more big as hell. devastating than ever. <clears throat> Got the new tribal chief solo just beat DK from you on the outside. If you're Tomatonga, if you're Jacob Fox, oh, this is a Cleveland Brown Stadium. Okay, depends on it to bring the power back to the bloodline. I would not dare disappoint solo. Oh. Power, that's for sure. Wait, what is it about Tomatonga that makes him such a dangerous competitor? Oh, reckless, uncontrolled, wild, primal. And completely devastating in the ring now in full control. Can the bloodline grab tag gold now? What's up? The hell? WWE Tag Team Championship on the line. DIY defending against the bloodline. Oh, Jacob that makes Fatu sense then. Tomatonga. Fatu just made impact on the top of the ring post with his skull. It's about the first bit of breathing room Champa has managed to gouge out for himself. Oh wait, it's not often that the reigning champions enter a matchup considered underdogs. That may be the case. Wait, is his name Gargano? Gargano? They have a prayer. <clears throat> uh, it's a long shot, I know, but Champa and Gargano have about ten years. Oh, it is okay. Tagging together, Tamatonga and Jacob for two only met several weeks. I just hope Cleveland goes crazy tonight with the with the cheering, bro. We're gonna need that. Whether that is gonna be enough for DIY to overcome this unyielding ferocity of the bloodline remains to be seen. Well, let's not forget that, oh, the fathers of both Tamatonga and Jacob Fatu were an extremely successful tag team here in WWE. Oh, and shit. The Islanders speared by Gargano. And Johnny Wrestling nearly put this one away. Did they change the name to Johnny Wrestling? I thought, oh. Or was it always Johnny Wrestling? Hey, boo Logan. Yeah, Cleveland is his hometown, I think, and they don't even fuck with him there. Logan has generational hate. Like, I'm being dead ass. What? It's his nickname? Okay. Oh, my goodness. Champa going for broke. Air raid crash. My God. Hooks the leg. DIY to retain, but no. It sounds insane, but that would have been one of the biggest shockers I can remember in a long time. If the bloodline had and they lost their titles the night before time. SummerSlam. That's disgusting. That's gross. Another thing, too. Night Raw with a club. The the house was demolished. Division. Everyone except Finn's logo's face wasn't Without crossed out. Oh, shit. Right, these underdogs oh, wow. Yo, this crowd is dead as a bitch. What's going on here? All right, Jacob, turn it up, yo. We have seen the terrifying. I like Jacob a lot, man. Athletic ability of this man. Boom! In the corner, the Samoan werewolf, Jacob Fatu. Absolute dominance. Tag made Tomatonga legal from the top. Flash to end it for the tag team titles. And Gargano preserves and the lane. Desperation lunge from Johnny Wrestling. <clears throat> Sorry. To the throat, clears him out. No respite, however, from Jacob Fatu, a man possessed. Jacob Fatu, the walking warning shot. The enforcer. Jacob is scary, man. Ugh. To the new tribal chief. Oh my goodness. Gargano just avoided disaster. I think what's going on is Dom was a pawn. This is this is gonna be bad. Pinning Tonga's shoulders. Tag made by Gargano on the outside, unbeknownst to the challenger. Shatter machine! Ooh, yikes, it's done. And how quickly Come on, Cleveland, turn the fuck out! Turn it up, bitch! Here comes Tonga Loa. But watch Solo. Oh, damn. Spike motherfucker thumbed him in the throat. He thumbed his motherfucking throat. And it's probably before swimming is about to begin. Okay, I got you. I got you. Oh, yikes. And the 
Yo, what up, Booty Bandit? All right. What's good, man? W name. What up, Jay? is on the loose Jacob Fatu doing as he so pleases that one up in there is gross Gargano that finger y'all ass the equation things are beginning to look bleak for DIY but no quit in Johnny Super hit him another eye this is what that hometown crowd can do for you it coming Tama Tonga taken out by Johnny Wrestling. Feeding off that momentum from Cleveland. Oh, oh shit. Oh, oh shit. Oh no. Turn around, Johnny. And a human. Into the heavens. Driven to hell. Jacob Fatu, the walking God. shot. They're gonna do it, Wade. Damn it, they're gonna do it. Implant DDT. God damn, bro. Holy shit. What up, Tony? What the fuck was that whole segment? God damn, that was beautiful. He sold that shit so perfect. Nah, bro. The future for Jacob is insane, bro. I'm sorry. I had to watch this again. The future for Jacob is fucking insane. Holy shit. The future for him is fucking insane, bro. And then another move, gang. Son, you know how... I Oh shit, why is it pausing the music? You know how I told you I have a problem when people execute too many finishing moves, like AW does that shit a lot, but sometimes with these matches, like you it starts desens it's almost like desensitized and shit. Like you become like desensitized to like the wow factor. You see, switching it up a little, this motherfucker hit over like three finishers, but did like three different like big moves on them. You know, comparing that to like doing the same finisher and they keep kicking out. That was executed What's perfectly. Crazy is that this is Jacob's third only match, and he's already now a WWE tag, tag champ. Lol. Nah, this shit is beautiful. Yeah, no facts. And thank you for the twenty-five bits, uh, fan. I'm gonna be honest with you, yo. Yeah, yo, that shit was executed lovely. That's yo. He he's gonna be he's gonna be huge, bro. I can see solo, meaning like him going solo. I can see him in a tag. I can see him in a group. But just know he gonna be that that brawling demon, bro. That hybrid. I'm telling you. This is Savat, man, for Savat, yo. Put your fingers up for Savat, chat. Let's do the sketch, yo, man. Finger in the air for Savat, yo. I'm telling you, shit crazy. That shit crazy, bro. Take them belts from them. It's gonna be, it's gonna be hard, man. When Jacob and Roman have a stare down, goosebumps. Oh yeah, I can't wait, bro. I can't wait. I can't wait, bro. No, this, like honestly, Jacob brings back the fun. In 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 a, in a lot of things regarding wrestling, bro. This shit is crazy. And and again, just to just to push the, the this narrative again, he did a super kick too. I'm not I'm not mad at the super kick because. Again, the super kick is probably not even hit one of his main moves. And remember, when people start abusing it, not just the, the, the Usos, when people abuse certain moves so much, you'd be thinking, like, yeah, he ain't got nothing else going on. The motherfucker hit him with like seven different moves in a matter of a, in like 30 seconds. Fucking insane, bro. Crazy pause? My bad. Jesus Christ. Crazy shit, bro. That was that was executed perfect, yo. Yeah, most Samoans have like super kicks, but man, you know we went through that phase real quick with them super kicking a death with, with like barely any other move sets to kind of connect. Yeah, if he if he's part of DLC, I'll be really upset. I'm not gonna lie, I'll be really upset to see like, yo, he lost so much weight, gang. I ain't gonna lie. 
Cody Rhodes Kingdom. Tamatanga is fucking WWE. Now he got that under his belt too for the WWE. That's do that's dope. Siege, the bloodline is storming the castle. If you're over two six, I ain't gonna lie. Being over two sixty five, that just says a lot about his athleticism, bro. I will say all three look incredibly dignified. The guy on the left is Steve. He manages the Sears. I think the guy on the right is Bob. And uh, yeah, dignified by. Who the fuck are these three people? Dignified outfits. Terry, that That's oh, shout out to Mark Henry's son. I heard he signed with WWE. That looked great. I ain't gonna lie. Didn't I wasn't aware of his wrestling like that because again, y'all know me, man. I'm a, I'm a fucking noob. I'm very isolated with this shit. So, but I seen a bunch of videos on him, and then I seen him like talking with his fans and stuff like that in the crowd, and uh, that he signed with WWE. That's fucking huge. And he big as shit. Meaning not big like Mark Henry, like. Like fat, like he looked like he a football player. He big as shit. That shit crazy. Ain't gonna lie. Need a hook to go to. What you, you need hook? Who's? Yeah, I gotta put me on the hook too. Justin Fields' sister had a tryout this weekend. Oh shit! Ricky be wanting to party, and you gotta tell him no. What you talking about, Mike? What, what you mean? What you mean? Oh, hook is Taz's. Oh, wait a minute. Wait. Wait, wait. Oh, I thought y'all was saying Hook is going to WWE. Like, that'll be fucking insane. He wasn't wrestling. I believe he was weightlifting. He's strong like his dad. Oh, man, that'll be insane. I wonder what he's going to do then for the WWE. In the middle, she books Logan's travel. I fuck with Logan Paul in the ring, WWE-wise, like wrestling-wise. But I I honestly, I, I would like to see another I person hold that belt. Home. I'm just being honest. Bro, you're getting booed at home, dog. Ain't nobody wants you there. to take my belt off me. <laughs> hey, hey, bad news, bicep boy. Jacob play uh, football too? You're not my type. And you are delusional if you think that you are gonna strip me of my United States Championship in my own hometown. They don't want you to hold that belt no more. I like how sleek the SmackDown arena looks. Look, that should look cleaner than a bitch. Whether y'all want to admit it or not, I inspire this great city. I'm gonna need to see him wrestle one time. This is Nick Aldis, right? Uh, Nick Aldis, if I'm not mistaken. I'm gonna need to see him just like, I didn't need him to get like involved. Like let him hold a position where somebody fuck with him the wrong way. And he started beating on motherfuckers. Yo, I'm down. I'm down to see him get involved in some storyline. I don't know what it is that I actually fuck with him as like a GM and shit like that. That shit'll be lit. He's a good wrestler. I, I heard he was wrestling with TNA and shit, but um, I think it'll be dope for him to get involved. I think that'll just garner more hype. Like it'll, and what's the other gentleman's name? I keep forgetting his name. Um, The other one, I think he's cool too. I think him as, as a speaker too is fucking lit. Adam Pierce, right? Okay. this great city I am Cleveland oh no fuck you not Cleveland don't even fuck with you dog that shit is crazy what up Gary oh, he was a wrestler too I didn't even know that What kind of welcome is this? They don't like you, gang. I'm sorry. Yo, the reason LA Knight has so many fans, let's be honest, people like you can relate to him. A bunch of tryhards who never made it. And look, sounds like y'all don't think I'm a great champion. <laughs> I mean, I, I guess I see your point. I've only had two title defenses in 273 days. But hey, that's two more title defenses than LA Knight will ever have. I thought he was about to say something about the Cleveland Browns. I'm about to say, oh, gang, you tripping. I'll be honest.
honest, I can't relate to you people. I'm great. I made it. <laughs> Yikes. So today, we are here to recognize my greatness, which is why I have brought these esteemed dignitaries, Cleveland's finest. Actually, Logan, I'm glad you brought that up because um, I, I put these people's names into my Google machine after your assistant emailed them to me and I couldn't seem to find anything. Nah, nah, well, see, Nick, you're not from around here. You wouldn't get it. Yo, okay, cool. they were the 42 months, gang. Appreciate you. <laughs> Trust me now, they're very legit. And it's a little insulting to me, a little insulting to them. This is my moment. And ladies and gentlemen, it's time to unveil my championship banner that will hang from the rafters of this sacred arena <laughs> to permanently remind everybody that Logan Paul is Cleveland's finest. Nobody likes Logan at all. Roll, please. Yo, Logan, ugly as shit. What the fuck? It's a walk of art. Ah, the so trolling is hilarious. Yo, they clap <laughs> and they clapping. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, no. Motherfucker trolled his ass. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Please take the title away from him. I don't know. He might not lose, to be honest. But take the title away from him, bro. If we could, fuck it. But is it gonna happen? I don't know yet. Do y'all think he's gonna lose the title tonight? Yeah! They're cheering more for LA Knight than you at your hometown. Let me talk to you. Oh. I, I apologize, but uh, these shades ain't helping me see what's, what that banner says, but maybe Cleveland can tell me, what does that banner say? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. 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 Oh, congrats. You people can read. Yeah. Oh, it's coming. My it's man, coming. you better get serious. We're 24 hours out from SummerSlam. We're 24 hours out from you losing that U.S. title. It's about, yo. Oh, uh, 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 Ricky, this is the only time I hope I'm wrong. Yo, I, for real, I, and I'm going to be honest. We've been hoping LA Knight gets a title run since early last year. I hope y'all know that, right? Like, remember before CM Punk, you know, joined back and, and like everything started like unfolding towards the middle of the year. We've been waiting, bro. Like, I thought he was going to get them shots, but then all of a sudden the storyline started getting crazy because more people started returning and joining. So it's been a while, bro. Like, and I said it last year towards the end of the year. I said, yo, if this man don't end up winning a title shot, we're just going to be forgetting this shit. Like, it's been a little it's been a little while, bro. It's been a while. So hopefully he can win it. I'm hoping Donnie wrong. I'm hoping I'm, hoping I'm wrong, too, because I got a feeling he may not lose. But, like, losing at home would just make perfect sense for the storyline. He's hated by his own home. Hopefully. He's winning tonight. There ain't no way. Uh, Yeah, I ain't going to lie. Saying let him win a mid card title. Fuck, that's what I'm saying. And it's been, it, and the thing is, I, I like. Do y'all think LA Knight's mid card? Y'all think he's the top, one of the top guys, or y'all think like he's extremely, he's extremely highly favored in a mid card sense? Because to be honest, bro, I've been waiting for him to win this title for a minute. I'm not gonna lie. It's and been a while. Considering what happened last week, you're lucky that that's the worst of what's happening to you right now. He's mid car worthy. He's developing up to the main car, but he's mid car right now. Um, and his ticket, okay. He's getting so much buzz, though. Well, I tell you what, with everything that's coming to you, wait, wait, wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. You talk about the best thing that happened to Cleveland. You're not, you're from Westlake, aren't you, you goof? Oh shit. Oh shit. Cleveland. 
Well, why are you out here pretending to be Cleveland's own? I tell you what, you're worried about homecomings. You're worried about banners. Since I ruined your little banner, I'm going to do you a solid. Since tomorrow, it's going to be the worst day of your life, I'm going to give you a little gift. I'm going to go back here, and I'm going to get you another banner, okay? So hang out. I'll be right back. I'm oh, fucking say he's from Westlake. Wait, you just got another banner? Wait, you DJ Khaled, you got another one? Where you going, scaredy cat? Yo, Logan Paul, take the title away from him. Oh, shit, didn't even know he was playing music behind the shit. Take the title away from him. Take the title away from Logan. He's so cringe. I feel the vine, I feel the vine cringe coming back. That shit was whack as a bitch. That was the wackest shit. All right, let's see what we can find you here. I got to be able to find something here. This material ain't going to work. But uh, we got to find something real ugly. As uh, that trash was out there. Hey, boys, let me ask you something. Boys, boys, so take it easy. You guys happen to have a banner anywhere. Why the crowd going crazy for them? Uh, no banner, but uh, can we interest you in a sneak peek of a song from Pretty Deadly, nope. The Musical? We're serving you Chapel Road meets Cats. <laughs> the once was a sad. Okay, enough of no, that. No, no, we go. Uh, anyway. What about Uprat Summer? Uprat Summer. So, uh, you guys, banner, nothing? You got an idea? Oh, hold on. I got something. Pretty Deadly? Actually, I tell you what, you want to talk about an eyesore, something that looks awful, I see something right here. So why don't I go ahead? How about this thing, huh? I swear to God, you state of the art. Hummer, I think this thing's even electric. I'll tell you what. I know Logan Paul's head is so empty, they're gonna open a spirit Halloween in that thing, and he's gonna come through here in about three, two, one. There he is. And uh stop it, stop it, stop it! Yo, he timed that shit perfectly. Come on! That's a crime! <laughs> Bitch, please take his fucking titles. I was more invested in that fucking part right there than I was this whole segment. Interrupted. He sang a lot of things, but his bitch ass just ran out of here. You know what's real funny? I actually That's like Damien Priest's wrestling a lot, too. Oh, shit. You guys can boom all you want, but the fact is, I love my dirty dom. Respect. Oh, God. They want her to, uh, to have a storyline hey, with Jay. I guess he's all right, too, you know, but whatever. Holy shit, they want that storyline to be a That's thing. A plain and simple fact right there. I never lost my women's world championship. Hey man, what up, Snook? Yeah, everything good, man. How you doing, man? God bless. Thanks for being here. No, no, uh, Priest is a good wrestler, man. Six months. The thing is, I warned her multiple times, but Liv Morgan has this problem in her brain where she can't comprehend and she can't listen to people warning her to back off. I told her multiple times to get out of my business. So what do I have to do next, huh? I'm not gonna put it nicely, am I? Would any of you guys put that nicely? Exactly. She's gonna lose because she's gonna get screwed. I took her out. I snapped her shoulder, so she was out of my damn business. I can't wait for her to lose, not because I don't like her, but because I feel like there's gonna be some heavy, heavy shit coming later. And the fact is, because I would love to see her as champion too, but I want to see that. Like the shit turn out Without like even huger in a bigger event too. Unfortunately, that's the case. I keep doing but that. Be out the new you said Finn Balor's gonna interfere. I think he might. Champion. She look beautiful without makeup. Hello. This looks crazy. I ain't gonna lie. These are like bad, like city girls, bad bitches. Priest wins tonight and loses in Germany. These are like bad bitches. Supposed to fire though, but they all look like bad bitches. Why they got his head to the side like that? They've been doing that with Booker T too, bro. They've been capturing him with his head with his head to the side, bro. Looking to get a jump start before the opening bell, and look at the power of the challengers. That backfired in spectacular fashion for the champs. Challengers were simply ready for that from the off. They want their gold back, or at least what they see. 
Oh, the match ain't even start yet. A little misdirection from the champions, taking an early advantage on Jade Cargill, the powerhouse. And down goes Isla Dawn. Tell you right now, Isla Dawn, Jade Cargill is built like no woman you have ever faced before. Wait, you life. said first time Bianca Belair is not in the PLE? Is that true? Cargill looking for a cover, hooks both legs. I didn't see her pictures in Japan. Wait, Bianca Belair is not like getting PLE time? Out of fire now, inverting the momentum and the challengers utilize the same play. Big right hands from Cargill and Belair. And the champions all out of sorts in opposing corners, Wade. Oh, you're just a pair of athletic freaks that very few women have come close to. Raquel Rodriguez? Oh, and this could be a very short reign the way this is going. Royal Rumble match flashbacks. Around we go. Jade Cargill sent to the outside. Cargill going to rip Isla Dawn to the floor with her. Super kick. Wait, Raquel, wait. Raquel Rodriguez hasn't wrestled since 2020? No shot. There's no way. I thought she wrestled like a few months ago. Really? Damn, Bianca hasn't been in a PLE? I wonder how she's taking it. I wonder how she feels about that. Damn. That's nuts. How y'all feel about that? Last time she wrestled with Eliminate. Oh, damn. Damn. Isla Dawn completely Raquel wrestled Rhea and then she's been gone. Okay. Rolls up Bianca. The desperation from <laughs> Alba Fire, but here we go. Who the hell? Is that Eckler Davenport? What the hell's Davenport doing out here? Who the hell is that? Well, she's just got. She's just got the champions disqualified. Of course, they retain their championships in that. What is this relationship? I have no idea. We've seen Blair Davenport attempting to find her footing here on Friday Night SmackDown for the past several weeks. Big knee drops to EST, but why? What is Blair's beef with the challengers? God damn. Cargill continuing to soldier forward. Chop block on Cargill finally takes her down. But just Cargill being overwhelmed by the champions and of all people, Blair Davenport. Davenport knows fire and dawn well from the European. <sighs> yeah, I got to fix the sub badges. I might just change the whole sub badges. Yo, Blair just ruined this whole shit for me. That was bad. How y'all feel about Jay Cargill so far in the WWE? I feel like it's been underwhelming. Yeah, I feel like there's nothing explosive happened yet. We got to give him more time. That let me know, but Blair looked trash. I ain't gonna lie. Mid? She's been mid? You said Jay be scared to take bumps? Really? Jay Fire, pretty solid. Solid, neutral. She's solid. It's the booking. Nothing's changed. Yo, what happened to Apollo Crews, bro? I remember being so excited for him a few years ago. Now, like, what the fuck is going on? Right off the bat there from La Mandrina. Electra Lopez allowing Santos Escobar to get on top early in this one. And yeah, you talk a big game to Familia like Santos Escobar did. You better follow up with a result now. Well, of course, Apollo Crews looks to continue building momentum here on Friday Night SmackDown. A bit of an unusual alliance recently with Baron Corbin. And somehow oh. it's worked. It's been fantastic. Right? I agree. Two, I agree. Two men that look completely rejuvenated. They look like they're ready to climb back up. 300 came on just to lose. Yeah. Now, here's the thing. Don't, don't get me wrong. I want I want y'all to tap into something. Tap into something real quick. You know when, like, you get paid like eight? Because I got paid eight dollars an hour once in my life, right? You know when you upgrade and you get paid like fifteen dollars an hour, right when you hear it, it's like yo hell yeah, the first couple checks hell yeah, but then you already now accustomed to it. So now a year pass and the new issues now is that you wish you can get paid more now because you you know whatever it happens. I think also even though he's getting paid three hundred k a month, we don't know what they have to pay for though, like hotels all that shit. But I think three hundred k a month. He probably they're probably so used to it now, but he probably also cares about public perception 
And like, what about after WWE? Like, maybe if God forbid he gets released, or it, well, like, uh, is his toy selling? Like, you gotta remember too, like the money is gonna be huge, but like, ain't no noise buzzing from your name. You know what I'm saying? Like, how that shit might make you feel if you're getting paid. I know y'all gonna probably think of it from like a, a, a surface level. Yeah, but it's 300k a month. But like, really, like 300k a month. But like, your name tied to your name is just like ain't no worth. <laughs> <clears throat> I'd rather Jade versus Bianca, not them as a tag. I don't know why they ever made them a tag. If they release them, of course, it's royalties, but I think some people just natively just look at it like, yo, man, hell, that's mad money. Bro, I can tell y'all right now. I'm going to be so humble right now. There was a time, bro, where I'm looking at shit and I'm like, hell yeah, I'm cooking. Facebook. Facebook was paying me 7,500 a month, chat, for two years when the pandemic started. Remember when we was booming? The Facebook chat with only 30 viewers, sometimes 100 if I got lucky. They were paying me 7,000 and some change a month. And it got to a point where I felt like I made no impact. And so I could have signed another year for another 7,500, but they wanted me to be exclusive. And I was still mad unhappy. And I said, no, I said, no, I didn't sign 2020, like ending like mid 2022. I didn't sign there and I didn't sign 2023. And I said, fuck it. No, I'm, I'm good. I'm done. And that's a lot of money that I threw away on the Like it, it's once you get used to something now, new things appear in your life. And not even that made me stay because I felt like I had no impact. I wasn't lit. Yeah, you gave me free bread and that shit was great, but I wasn't lit, bro. I think we, you know, there wasn't no real cause. I'm just saying, bro, it was, it was there was no happiness in me. I don't know though. That shit just, that shit's just crazy. And Santos Escobar, he is fucking trash. But you wait, they were the 14 months, gang. He signed and did what well, didn't he back when you 13? He was taking the shit going, ah, ah. Yeah. Now I ain't getting paid 7,500 from Facebook no more. I'm been, we been broke that relationship. In fact, Facebook did me dirty when they wanted me to sign immediately. And I told them no. And at six in the morning, they took everything from me. Yo, 6 a.m. recently, but Santos has been in control. It took everything from me, chat. Backbreaker by Escobar into the cover. Santos Escobar now getting thrown around with ease by a badly beat up Apollo Crews, which tells you exactly what that map is made of. Well, those runs of wins, as you mentioned, extremely hard to come by with the level of competition every Friday on SmackDown, as we just witnessed a few moments ago between Andrade and Carmelo Hayes, an absolute banger. Man, he still got it in him, dog. This is where Corbin proves to be valuable. <laughs> Big right hand. I heard Corbin's doing some Corbin doing buzz too, right? In NXT. Out of Angel's mouth, and now look at the power of Apollo. How quickly things can turn around in this game. Gorilla press slam. Birdo eats a right hand. Yo. Yo, get hungry, Birdo. What's his name? Hamburger, 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 Birdo, hamburger. Whatever the fuck his name is, yo, man, get him out of here, yo. He he doing nothing for the WWE. He just wasted space. He's like old footage on your hard drive, man. Delete that bitch. Get him out the fucking paint, yo. He trash. He pay. He trash, yo. Get get uh, uh hamburger, hamburger, whatever the fucking name is out of here. Hum Humberto, oh Humberto. Which is Bardo. He, he fucking garbage here. And it looks like it's all backfired. We've seen how comfortable a call him Hamburger. My bad. <clears throat> Somebody's got a hold of Corbin from under the ring, and now Bardo pouncing. Meanwhile, in the ring, Escobar has Cruz. Phantom Driver hooks the legs. That fight was so ass. Gonna join I know, I know Umberto's a great wrestler. I seen his y'all showed me highlights of his in NXT. But as as now, like fucking ass, yo.
You know what I'm saying? Uh, fucking uh, hamburger. Carmelo on the middle rope. And once again, Yikes. that attempt at a Spanish fly and Carmelo. Looking for nothing but net. Andrade sensed it coming. Connects with a forearm. How y'all feel about Carmelo Hayes so far? Is it good that he's here? Nothing yeah, I don't think he's getting the same Hayes attention as um taking the ropes out from under the as Braun Breaker though. Right. What's Hayes thinking about here? Oh, what a unique suplex utilizing the ropes to muscle Andrade over. Logado de Fantasma. With the brakes on Andrade taking the final step. Both athletes top turnbuckle superplex. That's gonna do it. But Andrade unable to capitalize. <laughs> <clears throat> oh my goodness but just a step ahead of Carmelo Hayes at this point now Andrade making the climb to the top the luchador very comfortable in the skies it takes he a freaky Carmelo ass Hayes. man for marrying Andrade Charlotte Flair I think it's Charlotte Flair right rolls Hayes inside the ring Andrade yeah freaky ass motherfucker Charlotte Flair like she's 70. Too. this match was good what a reborn Melo also winning the U.S. title will be good for him, too. WWE Universe rallying behind Andrade. And Carmelo Hayes could be seeing shadows soon, but no, great counter. God damn, bro. Hayes hooks the leg, shoulders down. And Andrade just Holy, oh quick. my God, look at his chest. Oh, Andrade, look for the elbow. Hayes sensed it coming. Counter. There it is. Lights. Counter. There it is. Lights out for Hayes. But Carmelo. And that was crazy. Out. He's been booking. Uh, it's just they got to find something for him to do. What I think they're going to do is uh, best out of seven series with Andrade Melo. Okay. Oh, that makes sense then. Instinctive kick out, but this is exactly what Andrade needs to do. The double stack over that moonsault. Going for broke. Nails it. Can Andrade finish the job? Oh, nah. Oh, nah. Andrade, that was fucking impressive. Oh. Andrade must be demoralized at this point. He's thrown everything at Carmelo Hayes. Carmelo That's impressive Hayes as a bitch. I like that shit. About to grab victory. Hayes looking for victory from the top. Andrade out of the way. Looking for the message again. Hayes counters. Just uber athleticism from Hayes getting out of there. O'Connor roll by Carmelo. Grab the tights, it wasn't enough. Oh, shoulders down. Stacked up high. Andrade does it. Oh, shit, they almost botched that shit. I ain't gonna lie, Andrade fucking nice too. Both of them are fucking great. I would like to I would like to see them both included in like like some 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 uh like uh more ladder matches or like some high flying shit, but like in some good events though. I would like to see them more involved. That shit was kinda you, you said little butt. Yo, the fact that I knew what you meant by that when you said that is <laughs> All right, bro. Yo, yo, V quit. Uh <laughs> Alright, bro. Alright, man. Alright, 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 alright. They got a broken one. I have a little surprise for you. Oh my god! For being the perfect princess to my bro. Did y'all see how Nia Jax looked years ago? Son, a whole different person, yo. That's your own. Hola, Zomari. They better give this up. I appreciate you. Thank you. And you give the big div. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Own custom. Thank you so much. Oh, that looks fire, bro. Don't forget who got this for you. Because tomorrow, if you decide to cash in. You will no longer be princess and queen. Ew. Just you say I'm crushing on Nia Jax? Fucking hell was long as hell and she looked like The Rock, man. No. To answer Ew, to you me. crushing on The Rock, yo? Gary, you crushing on The Rock? Nia Jax looked like The Rock when she was skinny. Hey, gang. What's up with y'all? That's crazy. Nia Jax looked like a female rock. I'm bugging the fuck out, yo. <laughs> I'm bugging the fuck out, man. That shit crazy, yo. She look like the Rock, gang. I mean, personally, I would change the font. Uh, I would 
I was designing my own Money in the Bank briefcase. P, don't you think Chuching Chelsea looks so much better than Tacky Time? You know what, Chelsea? Green no, she's actually funny as shit. I ain't gonna lie. Not your color. You're confusing her. No, no, Ava the Rock's uh, the Rock's daughter looks like a dude too. Like we're not, no, Ava the Rock's daughter look crazy, but Nia Jax skinny look like a female Rock. Like, like as if they could be brother sister type shit. Not saying she look like a dude, no, but she could be like a sister of the Rock. And, and, and the Rock's daughter, the Rock's daughter just looks just like the Rock. You know what I'm saying? Still, still tapping. Okay. Drew McIntyre's dream is to be champion. Currently, my dream is to make sure Drew McIntyre is not, not champion. You see, we back in it. His ways? No. So who's the king? That's the people's not daughter, yo. Fact. Fuck, that's the third time. I got you, Daryl. Thank you, man. I'll tell Larry that Cleveland sends his love. Much appreciated. I've been dealing with people like Drew McIntyre my entire career, right? I will also tell my wife that Cleveland says hello. Check, check. Been dealing with Drew McIntyre types my entire career, right? They want to get one up on me, so they go low. And when I meet him on the low road, oh my god, they're shocked. And then they play the. Victim, I never said like, Ava, oh Ava was gosh, ugly though at all. Uh, Ava Rain. Drew I never said that though. It. I'm just I'm saying she looked like her dad. It. He prayed. I don't pray. The only people who pray in front of me are the ones that are down on their knees. That's going to be Drew tomorrow, right? He wants to play the victim. Tomorrow, he gets to be the victim. The reason you're not World Heavyweight Champion today is not only because of that man, but because you have allowed all of these outside distractions to get in your head, causing you to lose focus, causing you to lose the opportunity. Now, be quick. Think of a 10 stream streak, bro. So just to expand on Pat's point for a moment, how are you not going to allow that to happen tomorrow night when you have two of the men that you hate more than anybody in the world in the ring with you at the same time? You know my story. You know everything I've overcame and I feel like everyone's against me right now, including you, Michael Cole. You piece of trash. Oh Unbiased my God. Official. Feeding everybody crap every week about me being a hypocrite, me being a liar. It's the trauma like I got you, bro. Spitting water with Triple H. As far as I'm concerned, Pat is more of a legitimate broadcast journalist than you these days. Even the fans that were apparently on my side all this time. How dare you disrespect Michael Cole, man? He just extended his fucking contract. This guy, I mentioned on Monday, I don't know what it is. It's cult-like ability. It's Charles Manson-like ability. Getting in people's head, poisoning it, or chanting CM Punk's name at me everywhere I go. Don't worry. I'll, I'll throw you some fish next, like a bunch of trained seals. I can block all that out. I am so laser focused right now. I don't think I've ever been more laser focused in my entire life. There's a reason everyone's so excited about this match because they know it's going to be a bloody massacre. And I will. This fight's going to be amazing. I actually don't know who's going to. This is probably one of the few predictions. You know, in the bias side, I would love to see CM Punk win. If Drew wins, it matches his, his side of the story. Where he's gonna be taunting CM Punk, but I don't think would he win fair, like in a fair, like he did his finishing move pin, or would CM Punk something happen? Like I don't know. I just know Seth is probably gonna get involved some way somehow. Um, I just actually don't know. Seth looking like a zesty zebra. Yeah, he looked like he looked like one of them fucking zebras. Um, yeah, he like a nasty motherfucking zebra. When our kids grow up, they're gonna think that's how a zebra looks. I will end the questioning there because I believe that. that Y'all gonna be honest, yo. Seth was dressing kind of cool with his fashion at one point. Now I ain't gonna lie. I know he's doing it though for for the way he, you know his character push, and it draws a lot of attention. And honestly, to be honest, 
it's it's the genius gimmick. It's a, it's genius. But I'm be completely real with you. This motherfucker out of pocket. I feel like this match is going to be trash. I don't know why. It can, it can go that way too, bro. It can go that way because you have two dominant like I like two dominant figures meaning and and and, and I mean obviously Cody and Roman was two dominant figures, but what I'm saying is you got two guys who it's really up in the air. There's people that want to see Drew win, and there's people that want to see uh, CM Punk win. And it's like the story between both of them is like up in the air. Like, who do we want to see win the most? With Cody and, and, and Roman, we wanted the story to be finished, the majority, right? But in this case, it's kind of hard because I'm like, if Drew loses this match, all this bickering and all this like complaining and yapping, and it, it, it seemed like weird. I don't know. I'm trying to pull up to the watch party. I bought pretzels and burgers. Don't worry, you're you're good. Just go to join the public shit, and then we drag y'all in uh, to the to the private lobby. Let's face they they're gonna beat the hell out of each other because Seth ain't disqualifying nobody. Exactly. I'm just curious as to who the fuck is gonna win because it's gonna be a it's gonna be a situation of confusion for me. But it, you know what? Thank you, Daryl, for putting that in my head. Hey, there's a chance this could be a really ass match. We thought Jimmy and Jay was going to be a... I don't know about y'all. I thought that shit was going to be a fire match. The idea of that was supposed to be a fire match. That's a dream match. But the simple fact is they're brothers, and they wanted to fight each other at least one time. In the WWE, Like they, they, that's what they were talking about years before. And that match ended up so disappointing. So... Oh, uh, yeah, the waiting room or the open public lobby, and I'll get y'all in. Let me carry up a box. We're about to get off soon. Made my point. Well, I got one more thing, I guess, before we finish up. You know, I hope it's not ass, though. <laughs> I hope it's not, though. Just one more. Come on, it's not about you, Seth. Relax. It's about the, these guys here. I appreciate all of the countless little bands everyone's been giving me over these past few days. You know, they, they mean nothing to me. The only thing that matters to me. Oh, okay. <clears throat> a part of me feels like that's a dead giveaway that either AJ Lee might be there as a distraction for CM Punk to win. If AJ Lee appears and becomes like a distraction, CM Punk is definitely winning and getting back that bracelet. That's the only thing I can see as an outcome of a W of a W match with CM Punk being with Drew McIntyre still being like like for me, I'm still being a huge ass fan, but still wanting to see uh, Drew McIntyre fight them in the future. But I don't think she's coming. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Even if she's like what Cody's mom did, like she's just in the crowd. Like only if it's some shit like that, but I know, I know. The Queen K, they would follow. And that's what I'm saying. Like, uh, unless AJ pulls up with the dog and we ain't never gonna see that shit happen. Are these two names right here? I think Roman Reigns is appearing tonight. <laughs> 